Welcome back to Office Trivia. We've got uh, a simple yet effective game for you today, similar to the Falcons' ground game. We're going to spin the wheel. We've got all 32 NFL teams here, and what you're going to have to do is tell me the highest scoring skill fantasy player on that team from week one. No quarterbacks, so we're talking running backs, wide receivers, and tight ends. And this is half PPR scoring. We're going to go 10 spins each. Whoever has the highest score at the end wins. Teams will not be taken off the wheel. So if you get the Chargers and then you get the Chargers, you will be reciting the second highest scoring player on the team from this weekend. All right. Understood? I feel like I'm going to get smoked. Tony, go first. All right. J-Mo, go first. Spin it. Washington Commanders, highest scoring half PPR fantasy player. Many men, Brian Robinson. Brian Robinson is correct. Jam up one up. Tony? All right, I would like to spin. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you do that. <laughs> Thanks. As Passes. opposed to the alternative. Hmm. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Who is the second highest scoring player this on the so Washington rigged. Commanders this week? Um, Second highest player is probably... There is no probably. I'm going to guess Jahan Dotson. That is... Incorrect. Yeah. God damn it. Brutal. Almost like we play deal or no deal this <laughs> Brutal. week. Brutal. Jambo. Commanders for a third time. <sighs> oh, damn it. Ooh. Tampa Bay Bucks. Uh, we got the touchdown. I'm going to go with Mike Evans. Mike Evans is correct. We'll Should have watched. Six Should have watched six, football six, six this week. <laughs> yeah, might have been important. Mike Evans did score the touchdown. Nice little lob piece from Baker Mayfield. God damn. <laughs> His wheel's consistent. Carolina oh, Panthers. Panthers. Um, fuck, dude. The Panthers score anything? Um, they had a really tough matchup, so just keep that in mind. Shit, dude. Don't don't say his name. You know what he did. Yeah, I know. I know that he didn't do anything. So That's right. I'm a, didn't do anything it. in I'm this a, game, but Miles Sanders. Miles Sanders is incorrect. Ah, this is gonna be a long game. Oh, Ping pong back and forth to J Mo. I'm telling you, I missed like half the games. It's not a good way to spend your Sunday. It is not. The Indianapolis Colts. Michael Pittman. Michael Pittman is correct. J-Mo came to play today. J-Mo knows his stats. He watched ball. Tony, on the other hand, what were you doing on Sunday? <laughs> Not watching ball, that's for sure. I feel like we were all in here together. I stopped after 1 oh, o'clock. Miami. You got this. You can't possibly fuck this one up. Tyreek Hill. Is that a question? No. Okay. No. We're going to give you that one. We're going to give you that one. J-Mo's up 3-1 going into round four. Some breathing room. The Cleveland Browns. Uh, I guess I'll just go Nick Chubb. You will guess correctly, Nick Chubb. Didn't get in the end zone, but racked up them yards. Good enough to get them done. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, God damn it. The Seattle Seahawks. I have no fucking clue. Um, DK Metcalf. Why did you guess DK Metcalf? Because I know it wasn't JSN. I think Tyler Lockett got hurt, and I don't think the running backs did anything. So it had nothing to do with, like, the 35-yard touchdown he caught in the first quarter. No, I didn't know he did that. Wonderful. Okay. Tony uh, keeping himself <laughs> in the game 4-2. to J-Mo yet to miss. You really didn't pay attention this weekend, huh? Dude, I'm telling you, after, one, after the 1 o'clock games, I, like, tuned out. The Detroit Lions. There's been a lot, of, a lot of talk since Thursday Night Football. This one shouldn't be too difficult. Unless. Amon Ra. Amon Ya. Actually kind of closer than I thought it'd be. Put it on the board. There's some tough ones on here. We haven't really gotten them yet. I want a team for the, like a second or third time. No. Browns, Browns, Browns. Okay. Browns. I actually feel good about this. I'm pretty sure it's, um, pretty sure. So we're, oh, no, he already no. had Nick Chubb as the number one. So yeah. you're going for the number two highest scoring fantasy player. Uh, I think Elijah Moore outscored Amari Cooper. So I'm going to go Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore did. Played that slot role, got some dump offs, a little rushing action. He was the second highest scoring player on the Cleveland Browns this weekend. Hanging around, Tony hanging around, five to three. We've got the Minnesota Vikings. Oh, God, fucking layup. <laughs> yeah, Justin Jefferson. It is Jay Jeff. Do put up the quietest 150 yard game I've ever seen. Yeah. Woo. Hmm. Oh, no. 
Tony with the Kansas City Chiefs. It could be 17 different guys. Fucking Christ. Okay. (laughs) Tony's getting bad. Uh, Wait. Wait. Let him cook. Who's the fucking... Yep. Oh, no, it's not. No. Oh, oh, Rashi Rice. Rashi Rice, yes. Let's he go. was the highest point player. He uh, he got into the end zone, had like 22 yards, but that was good enough when you have uh, competing targets with Kadarius Tony. Bar's not very high. Six to four, going into round seven. Can we get something tough on the board? Oh, Miami's second highest fantasy player. You already guessed Tyreek. Who is number two? Raheem Mostert. Raheem Mostert is correct. You nailed it. Early touchdown. Tony Baby. Tell Third me highest. who the highest scoring player on the Tennessee Titans no. was this weekend. No. Fuck. Oh, you. Dude, fucking Tajay Sharp. Or not Sharp. What's his fucking name? Tajay Sharp did used to play on the Tajay Titans. Spears outscored fucking. I don't, I don't think he outscored. He outtouched. He outsnapped. I don't know. Derrick Henry stinks now. This feels, this is, this is <laughs> tough. Uh, I'm going to get the kid a bottle of water. I don't think it was D-Hop. It's not Traylon Burks. Chig didn't do anything. Whatever. Fuck it, Derrick Henry. It's Derrick Henry. Okay. He's on the board. So we took the scenic route to get there, but, <laughs> but we've arrived at our destination. Don't let gut get in your head with the snaps. Yeah, Jonu Smith. Atlanta Falcons. I think it was uh, Tyler Algier. It was Tyler out here. Jamo going to run off a perfect board here today? Probably. I feel like you guys were looking at this shit all morning. <laughs> I mean, we, we work at a football place. Oh, you know this. Oh. Jacksonville. You're Jacksonville. Calvin Ridley. There you go, Tony. That one was easy. Finally. You've... Calvin Ridley was the only guy this week who had a good week. He looked confident for the first time only this entire guy. game. Jamo, I believe this is the clincher. This is the dagger to the heart if you nail this. Oh. Good luck. Who? See a little grin, Tony. Be happy you got the Cardinals, you know. I'm, I'm Act just, like you're happy to be here. I'm just happy that I don't have the Cardinals. Michael Wilson looking pretty good right about now, huh? I don't even know if they scored a touchdown. I'm going to just say James Conner. You backed into a right answer there. Yep. Fuck. I think he had about 60, 65 scoreless yards. I think he caught five balls for like eight yards. Yeah, it's just... Did Zach Ertz not have a touchdown? Unbelievably efficient. No, he didn't. He had like 10 targets and ended up with 20 yards. The oh, no. Los Angeles Rams. I it's got to be Kyron Williams, right? He scored two touchdowns. It was Ky- Kyron Williams. I was waiting for you to just Say rip off Puka, Puka immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Full I wanted PPR, to full PPR, he would have grabbed that for sure. Mm. A little half PP, didn't get it done. Minnesota Vikings, oh, number shit. two highest scoring player. Uh, Alexander Madison. Alexander Madison just ruined your perfect board because it is not Yum. correct. Damn. Tony, three-pointer from behind the line. I didn't lose. I just needed more time. If you could name... The three highest scoring fantasy players oh. for the Niners. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, don't fuck. fuck this first one up. <laughs> don't fuck the I first know. one up. I like know who they are. I don't know. I might fuck up the order, though. Number one, Brandon Ayuk. That is okay. Correct. Number two, CMC. Of course. And then number three. I don't have that one off the top. I think it's got to be Debo. Probably, right? I feel like yeah. Kittle had like 13 Kittle yards. Shit. So I won. Do shit. Tony walks away. Yeah. Yeah. Tony uh, Tony didn't win that one. You put up a valiant effort, though. You came back 9-8, to eight, JMO. You took uh, almost a clean sweep right there. Was it Jordan Addison? Step up. Yeah, it was Jordan Addison. He scored the long touchdown, which yeah. kind of got him in there. Um, so there is week one recap. Highest scoring fantasy players on the team. Make sure you are subscribed to us on YouTube. We're doing long form. At this point, how many times a week do we go... On YouTube, at least like five videos a too week, many. I think. Wait, Not honestly, enough. too many. More. More exclusives. <laughs> See you next time. Welcome back to NFL Office Trivia. We got Nick, we got Tony, and NFL has kicked off. And this is the first week one since 2014 we not a single quarterback through for four touchdowns. It's been about seven, eight years. But there still are plenty of guys in the league today that have done it. Can you name every active QB with four passing touchdowns in a single game in their career? Three strikes and you're out. Who wants to start us off? Nick, what do you got? Mahomes. Mahomes, number two on the list. That is how many times they've done it. Jesus Christ. Okay. Pretty short career. He was active, but rest in peace, Aaron Rodgers. I think he was inactive as of last night. As soon as that calf popped, inactive. Okay, now I'm questioning my list. Don't see him on here. That's just not true. That's just not true. I know. The list's never lie. (laughs) He's definitely thrown four touchdowns before, right? No, no way. Yes. Did 100%. I miss him? He just hasn't done it, dude. Can someone fact check that? I don't have Yo, my phone. Lied. I mean, he's definitely done it. He's got six, so I don't, I don't know what happened. He's on the list. Number 30. How'd you look it up? 
I went through Stat Head and said four touchdown game. Stat Head's the worst, dude. Touchdown maybe it's maybe it's Stat Head has everything. Maybe it's only yeah, counting wrong. people who have exactly four and not like four plus. Oh fuck, yeah, I could definitely see that. But you definitely think you would think Aaron Rodgers has like yeah. just one random. So that, that could game. be an issue, but I don't see it being an issue that many times. Number thirty on the list. <laughs> bada bada so bada many boom. times. Most overrated quarterback in the NFL. Justin Herbert. Damn. What do you mean? Justin Herbert is on the list. There's no bias in that. I'm going to go Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, maybe an actual overrated quarterback. Number one, 17 of them. Ooh. How about uh, Matt Stafford? Oh, nice. Matt Stafford, I assume we'll rip through this list pretty quick, but there is a wall at the... uh, yeah, yeah, Towards yeah. the back half. Quit your yapping. Active players. Just not named Aaron Rodgers. Let's go Joe Burrow. Mr. Joey Burrow on the list. Kirk Cousins. Cousins. Kirky. On the list. Keep it coming. How low does this list go? It's just like anyone who's ever done it that still plays. It's yeah. currently active, yeah. Um. Oh, it's not leaders. Okay. It's just anyone who's done it. Got, yeah, yeah. It. Got it. Now we're here. Let's go Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson. I'm looking right at him. Dak Prescott. Hmm. Yo. Dak Prescott. Not on the list. <laughs> There's just no chance he's never had a four passing touchdown game. <laughs> what the hell? No more stat head. Yeah, it, it's definitely only looking for guys who have four exactly. He threw five. So. <laughs> That's tough. Number 31 Jeez. on the list. Um, probably some guy that we're probably not even going to name that I don't know about. Like, could be some backup that threw five one day and we'll never know because he won't be on here. Kyler Murray? <laughs> Kyler Murray, number 19. Wait, who is it? I just guess Dak, right? Correct. Yeah. Um, let's go Derek Carr. Derek Carr. I think he did it on the Saints or the Raiders. He's on there. Uh, Josh Allen. Josh Allen. Took a while for him to get guessed, but he's on there. Uh, Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson. Keep it coming. Mm, four touchdowns, huh? Four more. You're going to have to fact check this one. Great. <laughs> this guy just throws six and we don't know. Maybe. Uh, Jared Goff. Goff. Number nine. Tua. He had that six touchdown game last year. Probably not on your list, but he's on the list. <laughs> Two, uh, he only threw six. <laughs> Number 21. <laughs> ah, man. Four passing touchdowns in a game. I feel like he didn't do it. I'm going to go Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton, six. Nice. Nice. Top half is almost clear. Um, all right. While we're going bench players, how about Jameis Winston? Fuck. Jameis Winston, the top half is pretty much cleared. Mm, okay. What about, oh, I don't think he. I don't know if he has. Jalen Hurts? Jalen Hurts. I feel like he's got to have done it once. Never threw 25 touchdowns, but he did throw four in one Ooh. game. One game ever. I feel like Tannehill's got to be on here yeah. once also. Yeah. Tannehill, yeah. Miami days, Tennessee days. He's done it a Five few times. days. Five times, damn. Bunch yeah. of days. I don't think it's that crazy of a mark to hit. Really. Yeah, I guess not. It's not that crazy of a mark to hit yet. I'm going to throw someone out there who has not done it in their fucking career. <laughs> Throwing three. Yeah. Oh, I don't know man. if this guy's still active. Uh, oh, man. He might have done it this past weekend. Who is it? Trevor Lawrence? Trevor Lawrence. Probably on here. But is on the list. Okay. But remember, the inspiration <laughs> of this game was that no one did it this weekend. <laughs> oh, correct. <laughs> Since 2014. Right. I was trying to count them. I was trying to count the passing touchdowns he just had. Whatever works. Just don't show your work. <laughs> Got the right answer. <laughs> uh, did he do Gross. Um, almost positive he did it though. Marcus Mariota. Marcus Ooh, Mariota nice. is on the list. We've officially hit the gross zone. What Yuck. about? Oh, oh my God, Geno Smith. Right? <laughs> Come on, Geno. Do not see Geno Smith on the list. That's gonna be strike one. Shit, I had better guesses. I'm double checking. Maybe he's got a five piece and stat head didn't catch it. Yeah, only three. Damn it, Gino. strike one for Tony. Ooh, I think he's still active. Right? No reason he wouldn't be. Mitch Trubisky. Did it. Mitch Trubisky. I think. Did it once. Let's go. I remember he had a, like a six touchdown game. Right. I remember that one yeah. game. Everyone was like, he's the next. He's the truth. <laughs> yeah. For real. The well, only good game he ever had. Baker. Baker, Baker Mayfield. Mayfield. with the Cleveland Browns. Let him cook. Let him bake. Times. Felt right. Get thin here. Zero strikes, Nick. One strike, Tony. Oh, this feels so gross. <sighs> Which one feels less disgusting? You can eat one. Yep. No strikes. Could eat one all day. It's like touchdown totals are like 14 a year. He did have one good year, though. Oh, Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones oh, is on the go. list. Is that it three times? Wow. His rookie year, he actually slung it a little I was gonna bit. Get, what do you have, like 20? I think 24. 24, yeah. He just missed that 25 mark. Every other year has been like 14, though. Yeah. 
I feel like he, you know, the guy I want to guess hasn't done it, but if Daniel Jones has done it, like Jimmy G. Mm. Jimmy G in the first. Okay. Oof, the left side's okay. completely gone. So you know we're geez. deep into the deep in the vault here. You know, the really. I, I, I got one kind of. I got one in the chamber that I know. Get creative. You're going to have to burn it. I think so. Uh, this isn't it, but let's go. Let's try Mac Jones. Jones is not mm. on the list. The only active, like, starting QB nowadays who hasn't done it. One strike for Nick. One strike apiece. Such a bad name in my head. I might do it. I might fucking rip it. I'm going to be very sad if you take the one I should have just guessed. Taylor Heineke? Taylor Heineke is not on the list. He had a five-touchdown game. Against who? Uh, the the shitty fucking. I would actually Giants. check that just because he's he, he's played some hero ball before. Yeah, he's had like a, two good games. Remember when he fucking lit up the world? <laughs> I think he ran one in against Tampa, and that's what you're thinking of. Maybe three touchdowns was Taylor Heineke's most. So close. All right, two strikes for Tony. Jacoby Brissett. Oh, Jacoby Brissett is on the Fuck. list. Way to get creative. That was all I had left. I have so many, so many bad names. Life is on the line. But I'm going to go life on the line, Case Keenum. Case Keenum with your life on the line? <laughs> yeah. It worked. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. Who's he even on? What team is he even the on? The Bills, right? Yeah. Uh, actually, oh, is he he's with? on the Texans now. Are you serious? Yeah. Damn. Definitely thought he was, he was on the Bills. Bill. last season. Yeah. <laughs> we guess an inactive player is at a strike. We don't Ellie. know if they're inactive. Oh, you're. Yeah. Players left that are active. Keenum in the depth charts. You can still eat one, though. Eat it. I cannot believe you pulled Case Keenum. Ooh. Wait. Oh, I don't want to fuck this up. Uh, if I fuck it up, I give you a free square, I think. Four boxes left. Trevor Simeon? <laughs> what? Trevor Simeon is not on the list. Didn't he start half a year for Denver? He strike two. Yeah, but I don't think he was any good. Um, nah, I mean, I know that. What about Gardner Minshew? Oh, good guess. Gardner Minshew is going to be your final strike. <sighs> Check again. Double check. Triple check. Double check. Gardner, Gardner has six, poten- six about, touchdown potential. What about... There was the this game was uh, game's over. Depending yeah, on Gardner I, I Minshew. I want to say to be honest, Trevor Simeon might have done it, but I don't think he's on a roster. He's mm, does that make him inactive if he's not retired? I think so. I thought about it. I would have guessed like I mean Matt Ryan and those guys are retired though. Like is Nick Foles retired? I, that's a great. I yeah, no like idea. he was on. Like remember, are we calling it done? I don't. He, like fucking, to me, he's well, regardless. Who, I would, it did, Gardner Minshew hasn't done it. No. Yeah. Okay. Then Gardner yeah, Minshew done. then is done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna guess. Uh, remember. The San Fran QB who had like... Nick Mullins. Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't know if it was Mullins or CJ Bethard. And I knew if I fucked it up, you would get the other one. No. Me. I wouldn't have guessed it based off that. But I think if Nick, I Mo- Nick Mullins B- was the name. If I was said CJ Bethard, you wouldn't have said Nick Mullins? No. I, I already had Nick Mullins in my head. I just don't want to yeah. rip it. I think they're both out of a job. Nick Mullins is the Minnesota backup. Yeah. One of them... The Nick, Mull- Nick Mullins would have been the one that I guessed. All right. Brock Purdy hasn't done it, right? No. Okay. Number 20, two gloves. Teddy. Teddy B. Uh, 24, another New York bus. Zach Wilson. Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold. Shit, I thought about Sam Darnold. 26 is tough. I don't even remember him doing it. He's the current backup in Buffalo. The current backup in Buffalo. I don't know who that is. It's not Tyrod. It's not. Got a pretty similar name to the starter also. Josh Allen. Josh McCown. Uh, The other way around. Something Allen. Allen <laughs> Hearns, <laughs> Kyle Allen, Kyle Allen. Oh. God damn and it! And the last one, he had like a one game. Same like, it wasn't Jared Stidham? No, was no, it? no. It's like Lynn Sanity almost. Like everyone fell in love with him. He's almost like Zach Wilson to me. Um, he's been traded. He's on his second team now. Everyone thought he was going to start last year. Wait, last year he got traded into the team. He got traded to. People thought he was going to start there. And he drew did. Lock. Drew. Oh my Lock. God. Dude, that was another name that, like, crossed my brain, and I was like, no shot. Did Nick Mullins not do it? I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't do it. That is your current active quarterbacks with four passing touchdowns, plus Aaron Rodgers, plus Dak Prescott. Nick takes it down. (laughs) Check us out on YouTube. Give us a like. Give us a sub. Check out the exclusive content there. Peace. Can't wait till everyone names, like, seven more players in the comments. All right, welcome back to some more Off the Trivia. I'm here with Nick and J-Mo Nakua. A fifth-round rookie wide receiver just caught 10 passes in his debut, which has only been done one other time. And here on the board, we have the top, I don't know exactly, top 28, let's just say, maybe. Yeah, correct me in the comments. I don't care. Top 33 most receptions by a rookie in week one. So obviously, Puka tied the record. I need you to name the next highest. And as you can see, these are color-coded. The way this is going to work, green is one point. 
yellow is two points, red is three points, and we have two legendary four-point blue answers. All right, obviously they're by difficulty. If I had to correlate, I would say green is like under the basket. Yellow is like deep two. Red might be like a contested three. And then blue is just like full court shot. So you said it one for green, two for yellow, three, three for, for red, red, four for blue. Yep. Ke- kept it simple. Uh, the way we're going to do this is 10 rounds. So most points through 10 rounds strikes count as a zero, but you're not out after three. So we will go back and forth. Nick, why don't you start us off? Um, Receptions by rookies in week one. No, you. I feel like there should be strategy here, most likely, but you know what? Obviously, there's the year that they did it in. Ah, eh, fuck it. Uh, Baltimore, 2023, say flowers. That is a flowers. One point for Nick. I'll go Denver, 2008, Brandon Marshall. Denver, 2008 is not Brandon Marshall. <laughs> no more no more uh, mid-range. <laughs> <laughs> no more mid-range for James. That's, that's what I was trying, trying to figure out, and I'm like, I already don't really want to. call him that. <laughs> Quits. Um... Let's go Falcons 2023 Bijan. That is Bijan. Cardinals 2000. Oh, I can't already call it. Car- Cardinals 2003 Anquan Bolden. That is Anquan okay. Bolden. I didn't know Larry was going to sneak in there. Let's go Bears 2023 Roshan Johnson. That is also correct. Nick with three points. JMO with one. Eagles 2021 dead center Devontae Smith. That is Devontae Smith. All right, through three rounds. Let's go 2022 Jets. Garrett Wilson? That is not Garrett Wilson. I want to guess that. I had I don't know why when I was saying it, it sounded like it was going to be wrong. Felt wrong. But now I'm upset. I don't want that. Uh, 2014 Panthers, Kelvin Benjamin? Fuck. That is Kelvin Benjamin, and that's two points. That's what I was debating starting off with because we just did that other fantasy yeah. game where I knew that was him. Fuck, I'm an idiot. All right, all right. Lock in. For real. Dial. JMO takes the lead after four rounds. Brandon Cooks, 2014 Saints. 2014 Saints is Brandon Cooks. Nick with four. JMO with four. 2014 Jaguars. Allen Robinson. 2014 oh, Jaguars. Shit. Go ahead and take is it. Is not Allen Robinson. Eh, I don't even know if I want to jump in there. Should have known. That would have been green if it was him. Should I just take the points? I don't know how to play this fucking board, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked me up. Through five rounds, we are tied at four. So you have the Steelers one in the middle. Mm-hmm. Calvin Austin. Is that your guess? But he's not a rookie. I'm going to go, ah, sh- oh, this is fucking so stupid. Uh, Chicago 2017, Tyree Cohen. That is Tariq Cohen. That's two points. Sure. I'll go 2020 Colts, Michael Pittman. 2020 Colts is not Michael Pittman. You said it was a layup. I think you got the wrong color. Shit. I'm more messing around. For real. Enough out of you. That's a blue. Through six rounds, Nick is at six. JMO is at four. How many rounds is it? Ten? Yeah, ten rounds. You got time. Jets 2022, Brees Hall. Jets 2022, I guess, is Brees Hall. Okay. Yep. You remember him and Carter were both catching, I feel like, 10 passes a game? I don't remember who they played. Jaguars 2014, Alan Hearns. Jaguars 2014 is not Alan Hearns. So I was fucking staying away from that shit. Dude, make that one blue. (laughs) What the hell? What kind of mid range shot is this? A contested one. (laughs) Highly contested. (laughs) Shaq. 2017, Titans, Corey Davis. That is Corey Davis. Phew. How down bad am I? What's the score? You are down 8-4. Red ones. <laughs> Looking good. 2002 Patriots. Ain't no fucking way my timeline's right on this. Dion Branch. That is Let's Dion Branch. Go. And he's three points for JMO. <laughs> wow. Nice pull. One, two, three. We are through eight rounds. We have round nine and ten. It is now eight to seven. 2016 Saints, Michael Thomas. That is Michael Thomas. Does JMO go for yellow, try to tie it up? Go I for a green, to. hope that Nick slips up his next round. 2008 Broncos, Demarius Thomas. That is not DT. Fuck! 2003... Man, I hope my timeline's off. Nah, that can't be him. Nick up by two. He can capture a win with a red one. He can basically capture one with a yellow one, forcing JMO to go for a legendary blue. Wait, so f- for the fucking Jaguar, I don't remember what you guessed for what players at this point. I'm so sure you have the Steelers one. I'm, I'm like 99% sure that that's Calvin Austin and he's not a rookie. Was it Calvin Austin? Because he was, I think he missed all of last year with an injury. I will say that, yeah, that's Calvin Austin. It, he didn't come up as a rookie last year because he didn't play a snap. So I will, I will count that point. one as a dub. 
a W. Well, technically, he wouldn't be on the list, I guess, though. Right? Wait, do I get a second guess or no? Or yeah. You. What do I need, a red? Well, it is his rookie debut of some sorts, right? <laughs> Minus one point. <laughs> yeah, dude, should we take one away? <laughs> Change it to a blue. You just what am I down? Three you are, points? You are down by three, so you need a red one to keep it going. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> or a blue just to so fucking blue ice would it. Win it. <laughs> you could ice it with a blue one, yeah. <laughs> I have such a horrible guess of that, Ram. I believe in you, J-Mo. Fucking way, it's him. You going for 2002? Oh, God, I want two guesses so bad. What are we thinking, J-Mo? What, what square are you looking at? Give us a glimpse in I just want to rip it. 2016 Steelers. Oh, Martavis Bryant? That is not oh. Martavis Bryant. Is it Bryant. Marcus Wheaton? Marcus Wheaton. No, that would have been my guess. It's, it's no. not Wheaton. It's okay. not Bryant. So, oh, wait. Is it Juju? No, it's not Juju. No. Juju would have probably been 2018. Like yeah, that was bad. Anyways, through 10 rounds, Nick wins it 10 to 7. Uh, I think you guys did pretty well. Yeah, let's, let's rip some of these. Was the Broncos Emmanuel Sanders? No. Wes is Walker? Eric Decker? No. Stokely? No. Good Lord. Lloyd? Maybe this one should have been a... No. This maybe it should have been a red. This Julius? Was, no. This was Eddie Royal. Uh, Never ever. Okay. Never ever? What do you mean? He comes up on our trivias all the time. Yeah. I, That's I Matt's guy. Matt's, Matt's gone. That's true. It was mostly Matt. 2010 does. 2010 is Dez. 2018. 2018 for This the, one might have for the probably should have been like... Maybe he should have been a yellow. Like very well known, but not like Jack good. Doyle? No. Zach Pascal or Paris Campbell? No. Nah. It's uh, Naeem Hines. Mm. I didn't know if you guys would be able to do the math on, like, Naeem Hines. I just probably wouldn't have thought of running back. Maybe should have been a yellow one. 2016, accidentally said his name earlier. Is this Rashard Matthews? No. I was thinking Tajay Tajay Sharp Sharp in the last trivia because he was on my mind. I remember how hyped up he was this rookie summer, but I I thought it was, like, 2018 minimum. Yeah. 15, D.D. Westbrook? Not D.D. Westbrook. This one is very hard. I can, I almost made it a blue. Um... Only reason I didn't make it blue because it was like fairly recent. In I, I remember. I remember they had a bunch of. They kept drafting like shitty slot wide receivers. There's DD. There was. Um, I'm gonna uh, give it to you because I don't know if you're. This is Rashad Green. Oh hell no! no yeah, no, would not have got that. Borderline should have been a blue. Uh, 2006 Saints. Jimmy. Not Jimmy. Colston. Not Colston. Maybe should have been a yellow. I should have made the. This is Reggie Bush. Oh. Uh, I guess the way I the, thought about the, it was like. It was like, kind of like the other one you gave, where it's like really when you go inner position, you start to. You know, you, like your mind immediately just goes like wide receiver for this. Right. So translating it to running back. Yeah. It's for the older ones, tricky. maybe should have been yellow in general, but I kept the green ones for like well-known players. Mm. This isn't Mike Williams, is it? That's not Mike Williams. He died it's today. kind of close in terms of his name. Roy Williams? No. It's close to Mike. Cadillac? It's Michael. Jackson? No. John Steen? No, it's Michael Clayton. All right, Titans last year. Hold up, we can get this. Not Burks? No. Phillips? Kyle Phillips. He had six catches in week one? Jesus. Yep. Holy shit. 2020. I thought this one would be a layup after you missed Michael Pittman. JT? JT. <laughs> running don't, backs you don't, just don't exist like, relate, in my like, six catches to JT. That's why. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, 2019. Is this Hawk? Hawk. Oh, fuck. I keep forgetting that one. Did you uh, get the Steeler? The Steeler was... No, this was... I don't know if I just said it. Eli Rogers. No, you didn't. Damn, that's oh, hard. Damn it. That is hard. 2014, you guess A-Rob. You guess Alan Hearns. I guess D.D. Westbrook. It was Marquise Lee. Ah, uh, that was the other slot receiver I was thinking of. Yeah. USC damn. guy. Remember that? Uh, I made that one yellow just because Rams. I thought. Is that Tavon Austin? I, that is Tavon Austin. Damn. Is it really? That was a little more Red. recent. I got a weird one. Mm. Well, tell me this. Is it a tight end? It is a tight end. Mm. Rip it. Kobe Fleener? Kobe Fleener. For the red. We got another tight end. Eifert? Not Eifert. Older, I think. Jermaine, Jermaine Gresham? Yep. Damn. Jermaine Gresham. Easy one for the Eagles. Alshon? Nope. He wasn't a rookie with the Sean. Eagles. Sean. Deshaun Jackson. Oh, true. Easy one for the Texans. Andre. Andre, Andre Johnson. This one, I've, he had such big years, I feel like 2010 to 2013, that I was like, the time differences feel too far apart for him to be 11 years in and ball. Maybe. Maybe that's wrong. Did I put 2003 instead of 13? I might have done that. Is that is that what happened? I, I, would, I definitely would have guessed that if it was 13. But that, he wasn't a rookie in, th- in 13, though. You might be right. He just might have had, like, an old-ass no, breakout. No, there's no way he was a rookie. Oh, yeah. Damn. It was, right? He was a rookie in 03. Yeah. That seems so old. That's why, yeah. I didn't want to guess that because it felt fucking weird. Okay. It felt creepy. Rams in... Out, I'll tell you what. These blue ones, like, guys I've never heard of. Sean McDonald. I was going to say fucking Jared Cook. Doesn't line up. Playing 2003. Nah, ooh, that would have been a good guess. 02 Steelers. Definitely know who it is, but... 
this San Antonio? No. Hines? Those those e? guys no. Those guys I would have made like not red because they're I feel like they come up in trivia a lot, but two thousand two rookie Antoine Randall L. Mm. And then the last legendary square, another guy never heard of. His name is I I think it's pronounced <laughs> John Dawson. Jahan Dotson? No. <laughs> Very close, though. The Jahan Jawan, Dotson. Jawan just, Dotson. Just, just know there's going to be people yelling in the comments yeah, about 100%. How, how he, how he, how he broke is. out in 2000 <laughs> with six catches week one and that, like, he, he was snubbed of a job or something. Damn. Anyways, congrats to Puka. Congrats to Nick for winning this trivia. Why did Eli Rogers get on this fucking board? There's a lot of weird names I managed to sick. get on this board. But that was Office Trivia. Like and subscribe for some more, and we will be back.